This example model will be a simple dipole magnet used to bend particle trajectories by 90 degrees. It will be constructed using the usual design flow for integrated engineering software, creating geometry and making modifications to it, assigning physics, solving, and analyzing the solution. To begin, we will switch to the units of centimeters and create the critical parts of the geometry cross-section on the plane Z equals 12. Having created a basic cross-section of the whole face, we will round the corners. Then we will use the Parallel Segments tool to create an outline of the coil. We will also add an outline of the return path iron on the outside of the coil. Then we draw segments to connect the outside to the main part. For running current through the coil, we need to divide the cross section into four sided sections. We will do this by drawing connecting line segments across the ends of each part of the coil. We now have the cross sections that we need and will return to the three-dimensional viewing. Since geometry can be arbitrarily complex, the default is a coarse view so that the rendering time does not become excessive. Since this is a simple model, we will switch to a fine shading. The first thing we will do is to sweep the entire cross section downwards to a height of 2 cm above the Z equals 0. We now have the outline of the coil, the pole face, and part of the return path for the steel. We will extrude the bottom surface of the return path downwards to bring it right to the Z equals zero plane. To get the steel above as well, we will extrude the top three surfaces upwards. You can now see the coil wrapping around and the steel existing in various sections. To convert to a single volume of seal, begin by deleting the top surfaces and the dividing surfaces. Now we need to redefine the top surface of the steel and recreate it as a single volume. We can inquire to verify the top is at a height of Z equals 24 centimeters. Using the enclosed surfaces, we can create a volume which lets us select the steel as a single volume. First thing to do in the physics menu is to assign steel to the volume. Then we can assign copper to the coils. It's not mandatory to assign material to the coils, but it makes the model more straightforward to interpret. To make this easier, hide the steel volumes, then assign copper to coil volumes. The other thing to do in the physics menu is to assign volume current flow to the coil. Select one representative volume, choose an entry surface where the current flows in, then assign the total number of amp turns. Agree to assign current to all volumes when prompted. If we redisplay all the volumes, we can see the combination of steel and the coil wrapped around it. To generate the entire model, we will turn copy on and then mirror the model about the Z equals zero plate.